TG, hey, I'm checking in today. I got a message for the fella today. This work, I woke up with this on my heart. I'm in LA working. The message is appreciate your woman. Appreciate your woman. You got to become man enough that you could be faithful to one woman. That you can love that woman and only that woman. That you can give her your all. That you can buy into that relationship and that you can focus on her and your your kids and your purpose. I got married at 23 years old. It was not easy. I was young. But by the age of 25, I had been on Oprah telling my story. I had been on Tyra Banks. I had been on the 700 Club. I went on three globally televised shows back to back. So I was introduced to new levels and new devils. And it was by the end of that year of 25 that I finally got it right, that I finally became man enough to give 100% to my relationship and not be looking around. Now, my wife hadn't been exposed to infidelity or anything. It hadn't manifested. But I was struggling with it on the inside, and it was going to get the best of me. It was going to take me down and keep me down. But I got up. I prayed to God. I asked for the strength. I asked for clarity. I asked for vision. I asked for focus. I told God to use me. I asked him to forgive me for all of my sins. Forgive me for my transgressions, for my shortcomings. Thank you for the grace, for not exposing me, for not letting me fall down and stay down, but for picking me back up. And when I did that, I became a man. And see, the, the, the time that you're giving other women, the time that you focusing on other women and trying to get in their panties, trying to be a player, trying to be Casanova because you're hurting, because you're weak, because you lost, you're losing time, you're losing your life, you're diverting your purpose, and you're wasting your years away. I realized that, and I tapped into my purpose. And I'm here to tell you, we got to start to do this, not just for us, but for our kids. My little son just walked up out here. Let me see if you can see him. He over there sitting out at the pool. He waiting to get in. I brought my whole family out here. I could be out here tricking off, doing what I want to do. But I brought my wife, my mother-in-law, my two boys, my chef coming in tonight, my barber, and my assistant coming in next week. And I'm just grinding. I ain't looking for no other women. I ain't focusing on other, other women. And don't believe they ain't out there. They out there. But see, I could talk like I'm talking because I finally became man enough to be bold enough to just stand up and to love my wife, to love my kids, and be faithful to my wife and kids. Fellas, we need this. We need this for our society. We need this for our world. My son not going to be a thug because I'm going to show him how to be a man. He's not going to be a womanizer because I'm going to teach him from my errors. I'm going to teach him from, from, from my mistakes so that he don't have to grow up and do that. So the cure to crime, the cure to... HIV being spread through sexually transmitted disease, the cure to, to drug addicts, the cure to all of that is a man loving his woman the way Christ loved the church. Because when you give that love, that love passes down to your kids. Your kids grow up and they carry on that love. And we begin to change society. I'm telling you today as a man, man up. Man up. Tuck your thing in your pants. Get your eyes on the sky. Start talking to God. Start finding your purpose. And I'm here to tell you, when you find a wife, you will receive favor from God. If you find a wife and you're faithful to her, you will unlock that hidden favor that God had been holding out for you. Because I unlocked it. And I'm telling you, I'm out here, I'm on this grind, renting a house for a few weeks, and we just going to work. Y'all got to skew that loud noise, the pool over there bubbling. And I would never, ever go back. When I started giving all that extra time to my purpose and to the will of God and not looking at other women, everything changed. Every aspect of my life went up. So, fellow, first you got to love yourself. First you got to know who you are. Then, and the way you do that is identifying and aligning with God. Then you got to begin to love your woman and love your kids with everything. And all that spare time that you used to give to sexual energy, start giving that to your purpose. Build business. Birth your book. Start your own business. Start uh, Invent a product. Do something with your life and your time. And don't just be successful, but be excellent. Be great. Because it's a difference between success and significance. There's a lot of rich men who are male dogs out here sleeping around, sowing wild oats. That don't make you a man. Money won't make you a man. The ability to obey God, surrender to God, and love a woman the way Christ loved the church, that's what's going to make you a man. This TT, I had to get that off my chest today. Man, we need this. Our families need us. Our society needs us. This is Tony Gaskins. I'm checking in later. Y'all keep your eyes out for the Real Love Tour.